everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 21st, 2022. If you have not yet gotten your ticket for my live event happening on March 21st, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, please use the link down below. Get in there so that we can all hang out live. I can bring you on stage. We can talk to one another. We're going to be covering a mass awakening how that might be affecting us going forward and what the next mass awakening might be. And we're going to be covering the 12 chakra system, how to receive messages from your angels, and then how to put that into action. Often it's not what you think. So we'll be talking about all of that. Make sure you use the link below. It is on the bright platform. And I am really, really looking forward to this. I can't wait to see all of you. And thank you to everybody who's already purchased a ticket. I, oh, I can't even tell you how excited I am. <laughs> it's going to be really wonderful. So get yours down below if you haven't yet. I want to start off this week by talking about a couple of different things. That's me shuffling the cards. Sorry. I still haven't figured out my microphone situation. That's why you're not back far enough to see the cards spread. I'll get that worked out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if I do wireless microphones, they can cut out or get staticky. I've tried them and I've done a whole day of shooting to go back and realize that it wasn't working very well. So I'm on this old fashioned microphone right now. But anyway, uh, there is this message coming through on a couple of different levels about how people have, during our times of trauma, have run towards things that can be, you know, it's instant gratification. So this might be spiritual readings, this might be food, it could be, you know, I don't want to mention too many things here, but <laughs> you know, it could be a lot of things that you just go and get instant gratification. So what's happening is we're sort of nickel and diming our, our energy. We're, we're just kind of, we're spreading our energy a little thin on small things that don't seem like they're depleting your energy, but when you add it all together, it's a problem, okay? So let's be very mindful of that. Uh, be careful of, they're telling me too that a lot of people are in this space of desperation. And when we are desperate, we reach for desperate things. Okay, again, everybody has their vice, right? Or they're leaning on someone else to tell them what to do, to give them the guidance. You know, I mean, if we're using the example of readings, readings here, I approach them very differently than a lot of other readers. I just lay down the message and let you uh, let that spark whatever it's going to spark within you. And then you take it from there, right? It's supposed to be empowering. It's not supposed to be me telling you what to do. But we get addicted to shutting down our own judgment system, right, for ourselves and giving our power away to others. So really pay attention to where, you know, you might be hanging, whatever it is for you, whatever you're hanging on to for guidance. Okay, because this might also be, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing like you're looking up to the wrong uh, examples. Some of you might realize, like if you have a mentor or something like that, and you realize, oh my gosh, this person has really questionable morals or uh, be ready for that. There could be something that opens up and you're like, whoa, I had no idea that that person had been involved with X, Y, and Z. I had no idea that person was, you know, doing this, that, and the other to people, that sort of thing. Okay. And then there's this other message here about self-hatred and how that has become popular. And if we're using the example of looks, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because we are very used to, oh my gosh, I hate my thighs. I'm guilty of this too. You know, oh my gosh, I hate my hair. You know, oh my gosh. And then if somebody says, oh, I'm loving my hair today. This is looking good. Someone's like, but you're supposed to hate yourself. And if you don't hate yourself, then you're a bad person, <laughs> right? So just try to watch yourself, you know, if you're doing negative self-talk, that sort of thing. All right. Final thing, angelsouls444.com for personal readings. Uh, I am still running ahead of schedule. I feel like I'm being very efficient. I'm very proud of myself, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> make sure you sign up for already. We could do an Akashic Records reading for you where we look at your, basically your personal oversoul and different uh, iterations, the different sort of incarnations of your soul and how some of that flows over into this life or we could do an angelic message reading, whatever works for you. All right. So 
I think that's all the business. Let's get to the cards. I'm just gonna pull them. <laughs> nice. You ready for, a, we'll pull all their cards here, but a, a very confusing message here. So we have new moon in Aries, go for it. It says, go for it. And then the very next card is full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. So something gets started, moves at a crazy fast pace and you realize, okay, done. Got to cool this off a little bit here. We got to back up a little bit. So there is definitely some sort of, uh, I want to call it a breakthrough. There's some sort of breakthrough and something gets moving. Now, if you are, let's make this more practical. If you are somebody who, let's say you want to get into a love partnership and it's just not happening for you. Well, this is not telling you to go for it necessarily. And you'll hear people say, oh, just put yourself out there. Okay, thanks for the advice. What about all the stuff leading up to getting ready to put yourself out there? What do you do then, right? So... Oh, here's, here's me with my hating on myself thing. No, I'm not hating on myself. <laughs> I just have very unruly hair. Oh, but I like my hair. <laughs> am, I, am I living up to the example? Okay, anyway, so you, you can't skip the process here, yes? Or for some of you, and this is what it feels like more than anything, a huge career opportunity. So it's like, boom, and you're like, can I do this? And it says, go for it, do it, do it, do it. And then you get running on it and you complete that project or you get the job or you get going on it and now you have to kind of even out. So I think what this is saying is like that big push can't go on forever. Yes, so it's always about balance. Then we have, oh, I thought this was the same kind of thing. Okay, so we have a full moon in Pisces, forgive. Last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. So this is talking about what has been the holdup in our lives. It has been a lot of blaming. It has been a lot of thinking that things are the worst case scenario and maybe they're not. Uh, not really understanding where someone else is coming from. I mean, there are times where people have full-blown fights for decades, decades, and they didn't realize that the other person was probably coming from the exact same position they were. And they, because they were just so defensive and so trying to make sure they don't get hurt, right? That's why it says lighten up here a little bit. There's more information. There's more information. You don't have the whole story. So again, that protection, that self-preservation mode that we go into it can find us getting stuck with others and find us being or carrying the burden of trauma. And maybe if you broke it down a little bit, you can put it into pieces and handle it. Always get with a therapist for things like that, okay? Now, let's see, what else do we wanna use? Let's use this one. This deck over here. Anybody else have a home where there are just Oracle decks and tarot decks everywhere? <laughs> All right. Kindred spirits, okay, so here's the thing. We have a lot more support coming in. We have some guidance coming in and this might be someone who helps you let go of some very hurtful experience. This could be someone who does uh, tell you about an opportunity or does give you a different perspective. But if we're defensive or worse, if we're self-centered and we think we're smarter than everybody, Huh. Don't you love those people who think they're smarter than everybody and they go around exposing themselves all the time? Um, you know, I mean, you're not, you're not going to learn. You're not going to evolve. Okay. Now, if you do have someone, if you're on the other side of that and you have someone toxic in your life, who's just always trying to put you down, just always trying to, you know, guide you down a road so that you don't get successful. You don't outgrow them. Well then have some discernment around that thought. You know what this feels like to me? This feels like overthinking. Like we get so lost in our thoughts. So we could take this a couple of different ways. Maybe we do need to stop and evaluate and assess. Is this really what I thought it was? Is it as bad as I thought it was? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Um, this, yeah, this gets into, again, balancing, right? <laughs> Where you don't want to overanalyze something, but you know, some of you are stopping and kind of going, okay, let me, let me look at this. Or if you're feeling completely powerless, you know, the economy, get ready for the economy to shift even more here in the next week, two weeks. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And this might find us getting into that place of, I, I'm at a loss. I don't know what else to do to make money. I don't know what else to do to make ends meet. Every time I turn around, I get another financial hit. Or it might be for you in a relationship. I don't know what else to do with this relationship. This is saying that there are options there that you have yet to discover. 
there's something that you're overlooking. It does feel like it's very obvious and yet it's not occurring to you because it is so obvious. All right, so let me get a little bit more with these cards. <sighs> opening homes, opening homes. So I don't know if that would be, you know, people who are trying to get away. I gotta be, you guys know YouTube. I gotta watch what I'm saying here. Um, oh, hi. Uh, you know, opening their homes to people who need it. Eight of Ariel, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. See, that kind of goes along with, um, you know, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And you realize all I have to do is go back and pick up this thing I used to do and just practice it a little bit more. And, you know, I'll be good at it again and maybe I can offer that. I can offer that out into the world. I'm getting heavy economy. Don't fall into the space that we fell into with the last trouble of the past two years, okay? Don't get into the, de there's this thing around desperate energy. Don't fall into the desperate energy. Keep working towards peace. Uh, we need that. We need the peace energy out there because what's happening now in the world could get bad if we get into a desperate energy, okay? So I'm putting that out there but the economy. You know what? I'm sorry guys, but I, it's so heavy. Let me just ask about the economy. Um, and I know you guys are watching from all over the world. You might be like, well, what the heck, Michelle? Like <laughs> you'll, you'll know whatever comes up, you'll be able, it'll be, it'll hit you in the right way. Okay. Let's see. Ace of Gabriel, a, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So what I'm feeling is that things start shaking and moving and we get really creative and we get fiery and we get passionate and we, you know, this might find people standing up and saying enough, you know, stop taxing us like this or have rent control or, you know, do something. Well, inflation, right? So <laughs> we, you know, there might be uh, some, the people are coming up with a creative solution because they're living it. Right? And so this would be people stepping up and maybe being a little loud about it because this is very passionate and, um, and fiery. But this is saying that there's gonna be a shakeup, but that it actually lends itself to some <laughs> very appropriate change. We have six of Gabriel. Congratulations, you have done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, and promotions. Or promotions <laughs> sorry so here's this other energy so this is all it's very emotional I'm not I'm not gonna lie but this is victorious this is like we figure out what's not working we we start to value our own experiences and standing up and saying hey whoever's in charge it's not always like that out here in the real world this is what we're experiencing okay and we speak up Here's what would happen if this, this, and this were in place. You know, like I, I could live like this, this, and this if this, this, and this existed, right? So giving, offering some bit of our experience so that change can happen. So again, there's a shakeup, but it, it has a positive outcome. It, it's like, I, and this is terrible to say this, but if you notice uh, how different the reaction is, to the current issue going on in the world compared to in the past, right? In the past, people really allowed their passions to get fired up and it went down a dark path. It was like, yeah, we want this, we, we, we wanna fight, we wanna, you know, whatever. Now it's like, most people are like, okay, we do not want this. We do not need this. Oh, you know, stop, <laughs> right? It's all of that. So. Again, it feels like regular people taking their power back and saying, and being diplomatic about it and saying, no, that's not, that's not what happens across the board. A lot of rules are put in place for us based on sort of a, a generic assessment. And it doesn't obviously take individual needs into consideration. How could it possibly? Because how could one set of rules accommodate every situation? That's why taxes are so complicated, right? <laughs> but there, there's something that's about to be a nice breakthrough. I, okay, so here's the deal. 
it's a nice breakthrough through this week. These are actually timeless, so whenever you're seeing this, this will pertain to your situation. Um, there's a nice breakthrough. It's asking for us to step up and have some sort of creative solution. We have to heal what's going on within us because it's prepping us for what's to come. It's prepping us for what's to come. And so we will not handle, you know, stuff is still gonna be happening in the world, but how we handle it is different. And it's so interesting to me because people are always like, you said it was gonna be nice and all this stuff is going on in the world. You miss the point. Stuff will always be happening in the world. You're in a duality consciousness. You're supposed to be experiencing the good with the bad. That's why people who uh, spiritually sidestep or, you know, they get into toxic positivity, they're totally not hitting the mark with their incarnation. They're probably going to have to incarnate and do it again. You're here to experience the good and the bad. And can you come to the center and be balanced? Okay. Green, revitalize your nervous system. The number is 31. Another indication that we are having to heal. We're having to stop and realize what gets us worked up. What tears us down? Is it that toxic family member? You know, again, it's not about blaming. It's about realizing so that you can handle stuff on your end. Yes? Whenever this card comes out too, it is asking you to get in touch with the heart space, but it always... Not always, that's a big word, right? <laughs> it a lot of times indicates that there is a lot of rumbling going on in the world. Uh, a lot of things that feel out of our control. A lot of things are affecting our day-to-day -day lives and we feel like we can't get things under control. Here in Colorado, I was given the example of rent control. I was just told that my rent may go up by 30% this year because there are no rent laws in the state of Colorado to protect us. Housing market has gone crazy. If you're a single person, you're not buying a house. There's no way, not on your single salary. You're just not doing it. So that is, you know, something that can be, it's just one example of something that's very, very scary. And then we have inflation. We have all of these other things going on. Uh, the, the trouble could, God forbid, but could escalate in this world. If we put our good energy into it, it won't happen. But, you know, there are things that are just, I think that's part of that victory where it's like, okay, enough is enough. We need to reform this a little bit. Um, you know, you don't get to put our livelihoods in danger. And this will go into corporations as well. Again, YouTube, I'll say this straight, I'll probably get hit for this, but YouTube is classic for hitting you with stuff that kind of threatens your channel. If you guys don't know, when was this, a year ago? I don't remember, but um, there was a link, that, an affiliate link that I had put in my description box. I always test the links, but hey, maybe I copy and pasted wrong, could be, or maybe I put it in and the link got broken on the end of the person who gave it to me, right? Or the company that gave it to me. Instead of just sending me an email and saying, hey, that link is broken, can you take it out of there? I would have fixed it in one minute. They slapped a warning on my channel that stays for the life of my channel. And when I fought them on this and I was like, this was a huge misunderstanding. You know, I, I, they confiscated my video and everything. They took my video, took it down. And when I fought, uh, they came back and said, no, this was deserved. And I came back and I'm like, how could you possibly say that? And it was the next response that I got that made me understand that this is a game and I had better, <laughs> I had better fall in uh, because they said our word is final. And it was basically like, stop asking about this. So I got slapped with this huge warning on my channel that will stay there for the life of my channel over nothing, right? So I feel like we're coming into this kind of energy where, it, you know, in that kind of scenario, it's like, you know what, if I end up getting kicked off of YouTube, maybe that's for the best, okay? Maybe, maybe YouTube is done for that reason. And maybe we need to all start exploring other things. But, you know, we are going to start standing up and saying, no, you don't get to be the dictator. No, you don't get to, uh, you know, again, threaten our livelihoods or threaten our, our chance to have a house or a home, where, a roof over our heads, right? You, you don't get to threaten that. Uh, and it's already going to be bad enough, especially if you are somebody who, who has a business of your own or maybe you're in, you're working for a company where anytime the slightest little thing happens in the world, uh, you're... Maybe, you know, there's always talk of layoffs in the company or if you work for yourself, you know, maybe sales are down or whatever's going on. You're not getting the clients, you know, that sort of thing. 
We need to even that out. And the reason why I'm talking about all of this is because there's something here that can be a bright spot. There's something here where it's like, okay, I, I put too much energy into being afraid of you. Or I put too much energy into being afraid of this situation. What are my other options? And if I don't have other options, can I create an option? Can we band together and create a whole new thing for ourselves, right? It has that kind of feel. So there could be something that's rumbling, it's getting us prepared for what's to come, but we're figuring it out. And that is the beautiful takeaway. We figure it out by you know, not accepting that what's before us is the only potential. All right, so I hope that makes sense. We're gonna leave it there. Once again, do not forget to go over and get your ticket for the March 21st live event, live Q&A, talking to angels, talking about how to receive messages. Link is in the description box below. And if you like this content, I really appreciate it. If you like, share, and subscribe, have a beautiful week, guys. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. Take care.